around 775,000 children live in the United States illegally. But in a new report, researchers at Georgetown University Law Center say that some of these illegal immigrants are being denied access to K-12 education. In Florida, Texas, and New York, and North Carolina, these researchers say education authorities require illegal immigrants to present extensive documentation, a burden that means many children cannot achieve schooling. Yet the burdens on educational institutions are undoubtedly serious. And illegal immigration is one reason why. That's because in recent years, tens of thousands of unaccompanied children from Central America have traveled to the U.S. to escape endemic crime. Still, things are even worse for some, namely Haitians in the Dominican Republic. Today, because of punitive non-immigrant laws, thousands of Haitians in the country are unable to enter education or apply for jobs or find legal protection. 